So an unscheduled delay. just to add to the drama here in Ladi. What a great way to get the championships uh, underway. It's been a fantastic night. The snowfall that was forecast to go on all evening has eased off dramatically. Alex Harvey in the middle of the picture for Canada. He's got on his right-hand side, Everson of Norway. Number two, Finn Hogg and Krog, the fastest of the qualifiers from this group. And then two Finns, Finland, hoping, having seen Laukinen go out of the women's, hoping that either Hakala or Yilai can make it through to the last six. Here we go. That's not a good start from, uh, I think that was Yilai, was it, who was very, very slow. In fact, it might have been, uh, it might have been Storega, actually, in Poland. Well, I was just trying to figure who was the most relaxed in that what three-minute delay, and I think it was Alex Harvey. He wasn't flustered, he wasn't put out, and he's in fourth position at the moment. Krog skied very sensibly for me in the first uh, heat, Mike. Didn't, didn't really go for any sprints at any stage, just made sure he was in the right place to secure a top two. And he's got that wonderful turn of pace, Krog, uh, bit number two there, uh, when he wants it, and he normally presses that three quarters off the way up the second huge climb. Is it wise going out the front? We often say that. Hakala, well, maybe he has the, the engine to take himself, leave himself in first position all the way throughout this 1.6 kilometers. Would be good for the Finns. No Finns in the final of the women's event. We have three Americans who've made it through to the last six, so there could be medals coming their way. Fowler's still the hot favourite to win the women's. Round the top turn, and uh, this is not a quick heat, Mike, so uh, I think we're only going to get two out of this unless the pace changes dramatically over the next uh, couple of hundred metres. Yes, uh, the previous one was 3.20.59. I'm, I'm, we've said it a number of times, and then the pace goes ballistic in the second half of the 1.6 kilometres. But this does appear a little more pedestrian. Looking. Alex Harvey's realising maybe instead is too slow. He's trying to come up into third place. They're looking to exit the stadium onto the second big climb at around two minutes, and they've got a way to go before that will happen. Ibbotson is very surprised. He's uh, at the back. He's been at the back most of uh, this two minutes. Alex Harvey made that mistake. He almost tripped himself up. Yeah, I've got them about one and a half seconds down on, on the first semi-final at the moment. So still looks as though we're only going to get one because the... the finish of the first semi was not slow with Pellegrino leading the way ahead of Ustiagov. Krog of Norway still in the perfect position. Alex Harvey, he's often leaves it late. You you rate his final 150 better than most. I really do. He's just got some uh, weird way of figuring out which is the best line when it comes to very tight racing. Ivetson hasn't been able to move forward. He's still at the back, but the Norwegians have good skis. Now Alex Harvey has got to... Uh, push the accelerator because there's a little bit of a gap between two and three. One of the Finns is in a qualifying position at the moment. Krog it is, who leads the way. He's got 400 metres to go, picking up speed. 35, 40 kilometres an hour as he enters the stadium. 300 metres to go now and one big 180 degree turn that leads into the home finish. I can't see Krog being caught from here. Beautiful performance from him at the moment. Well, Alex Harvey has got to find every bit of his magic. Surely that's too much for him to go through in the top two. Ivetson's coming through now. He had a great glide down the hill. Finland, Finland desperate. Oh, Ivetson taking himself out. Hakala is the man who's going to qualify in second for Finland. Finn Hagen Krog cruising through to the World Championship final. Yilai misses out 324.6. We said they can't afford a hanger round they just took their time they gambled that they'd finish in the top two Iverson he could have been thinking in terms of medals but not any longer